on January 1, 1914. The world's first scheduled passenger airline service took off. Operating between St. Petersburg and Tampa, Florida. The St. Petersburg-Tampa airboat line was a short-lived endeavor. Only four months but it paved the way for today's daily transcontinental flights. The first flight's pilot was Tony Genius. An experienced test pilot and barnstormer. The first paying passenger was Abram C. Fell. Former mayor of St. Petersburg. Their 21-mile, 34-kilometer, flight across the bay to Tampa took 23 minutes. They flew in a flying boat designed by Thomas Benoist, pronounced Benoit. An aviation entrepreneur from St. Louis. Percival Elliott Fansler. A Florida sales representative for a manufacturer of diesel engines for boats. Became fascinated with Benoist's progress in designing aircraft that could take off and land in the water. The two men started corresponding. And eventually Fansler proposed a real commercial line from somewhere to somewhere else. He proposed that the airline fly between St. Petersburg and Tampa. In 1913. A trip between the two cities. Sitting on opposite sides of Tampa Bay. Took two hours by steamship or from four to twelve hours by rail. Traveling by automobile around the bay took about twenty hours. A flight would take about twenty minutes. Fansler tried to interest Tampa officials in the venture. But they turned him down. He got a better reception in St. Petersburg. Enticing several investors. Benoist arrived in St. Petersburg on December 12, 1913. Followed by his hand-picked pilot. Tony Genius. Genius was already a popular figure in aviation. His dark. Handsome looks and daring exploits made him the epitome of the romantic flyer. According to a biography by the Tony Genius Distinguished Aviation Society. Once known as a fearless daredevil and admirer of women. Running from angry fathers with pointed shotguns and dating movie stars. Genius took risks in love and war. Genius gave flying exhibitions. Tested military planes. And flew long-distance airplanes and airboats. He piloted the first tests of airborne machine guns. On March 1, 1912. He carried Captain Albert Berry aloft to make the first parachute jump from an airplane. By 1913 at 24. He had become one of the principal stockholders in the Benoist Aircraft Company. The first flight went off on New Year's Day. 1914. With much pomp and circumstance. About 3,000 people paraded from downtown St. Petersburg to the waterfront to watch as the first ticket was auctioned off. Fell then in the warehouse business. One with a bit of $400, more than $8,500 in today's dollars. Just before the flight. Fansler made a brief speech saying. What was impossible yesterday is an accomplishment today. While tomorrow heralds the unbelievable. According to the Tampa Bay Times. After several more speeches and many photographs. Genius and Fell squeezed into the small wooden seat. As they took off. Genius waved to the cheering crowd. He flew the plane no higher than 50 feet, 15.2 meter, over the water. Halfway to Tampa. The engine misfired. And he touched down in the bay. Made adjustments and took off again. As the plane landed at the entrance of the Hillsborough River near downtown Tampa. Genius and Fell were swarmed by a cheering. Clapping. And waving crowd of about 3,500. The airline made two flights daily. Six days a week. The regular fare was $5 per person, about $100 in today's dollars, and $5 per 100 pounds of freight. Tickets sold out for 16 weeks in advance. A second Benoist airboat was added. And flights were extended to Sarasota. Bradenton and Manatee. Tony Janius brother. Roger. Was the second pilot. The airline operated for nearly four months. Carrying a total of 1,205 passengers. Passenger interest declined rapidly when the winter residents began heading back north. On April 27th. Tony and Roger Janius flew their last flight before leaving Florida. Putting on an air show over Tampa Bay. The brothers continued to give exhibitions. Perform tests of aircraft. And train other pilots. On October 
12, 1916. Tony Janius was training Russian pilots when his plane crashed into the Black Sea. His body was never recovered. Roger Janius also died while flying. He crashed on September 4, 1918. During air patrols over France. In 1964. The Tampa NST. Petersburg Chambers of Commerce established the Tony Janius Distinguished Aviation Society in honor of Tony Janius.